with the recent talk about Bitcoin ETF, we can see that the uh, market is already uh, pricing in uh, Bitcoin to make a uh, big move benefiting from these uh, ETF. And right now, looking at Bitcoin, we see that it is above this 34,000 level. And it broke out of this uh, balance area here and popped to this low volume node. And right now, I'm basically looking at Bitcoin possibly move up to this 39,000 area. You know, basically just auction up to this high volume node here. Now, if it come down and break uh, back below this uh, low volume node, I'd be looking for potential support right off these uh, high volume edge and uh, have it uh, look for it push back up. So instead of uh, you know playing Bitcoin or wait for the ETF to become available, one of the things that I've been looking at is to see how I could benefit by trading some of these crypto mining stocks. And in this video, we'll take a look at a few of those and see how we might uh, look at those crypto uh, mining stock for potential swing trade opportunities. So stay tuned. All right, let's take a look at Riot here. Riot, uh, we're going to look at it for swing trade purposes. Here we've got the composite volume profile. And what I will do is basically partition a couple of different balance area. You see here, I'm looking at this value area here where it, ha where it has a lot of volume. You can see that price pretty much consolidated within this region here. Now also I uh, have another balance area or a value area here. Right? You can see that the price pretty much, you know, been bouncing around between these levels here. And a couple of the time it came down. Right. Once it break below this value area, it came down to the lower value area. So this time around, we see the prices up here, and this will actually give us the opportunity to set up or stop. So what we want to do is we want to see will price move up to this area here somewhere around 1260. And the stop will be if the price come back in to this balance area, then most likely we'll see the price, you know, try to auction down to this 875 area, 876 area. So what we're going to do is instead of, you know, trying to blindly set some stop here, okay, and saying that just below here, we're going to actually wait until the price come into this area. Then we'll say, oops, you know, we thought it was going to auction back up. And as it turned out, it did not do that. So because for a brief moment, we could see price just kind of, you know, chop around here and then move back up, you know, like here, right? This low area here and similarly to this area here. So that's basically what we're going to do is we're going to give us a little bit of a margin here. And this area will be somewhere around, you know, 970. So we can set it at 970 and try to play a little bit of a swing trade up to this 1260 area, you know, 1250, 1260. Then when it get up here, we'll take a look at it to see what it's going to do. Or do we want to take out the entire position? Or we could just have some runner and see what it be able to break to, to this 1390 and possibly up at this 1546. Looking at Hive here, Hive is a little bit of a low price crypto mining stock here. You can see that the price already come up to this upper edge of this value area. Right? So we don't want to chase this thing. So we would like to see it break and then we do a retest and then we're going to go and try to swing it up to this area here to this 423 so into this area here. Okay, So we're going to be patient and wait for Hive to break and then come back to somewhere around this 350 before we uh, take a uh, look for a setup to do a swing long. Bit Digital, another low price uh, crypto mining stock here. Going to take a look at this one here. Right now, we're basically looking at the price. If we show a little bit of a value area here, you can see that the price has been pretty much within this consolidation of the value area between somewhere around $240 and $2 level. 
Now, if you saw a block here and then, you know, immediately got rejected and pushed back here, but it found buyers here also and then pushed back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch for a break of this value area. And, uh, you know, you could wait for a test and then go in, or you could just wait, you know, just go over the break and play it up to the first target of 270 area here. And I would place a stop somewhere around below this point, this low here. I would rather, uh, you know, maybe uh, just get it underneath this uh, this low here. Because if uh, we are wrong and this buyer is not really a strong buyer here to support this level, then we expect the price to come back down below this level. And once it breaks below this level, we might get another opportunity to try to buy it down here because it could pull back to this $2 area. And that would be a nice area to you know, try to buy some and swing it back up to this 240 and possibly 270. And who knows, eh, with the uh, upcoming uh, craze on this Bitcoin ETF, we might see these things, you know, start flying up and be a mem stock again, right? And pushes back up to these, uh, you know, ridiculous uh, valuation. Uh, we could see it uh, at least come up to this 460. But for now, basically, we just want to focus on this 270 area. If we could get in somewhere around this area here, you know, above two, uh, you know, 220, 230 area. Okay, basically, uh, get, get above this ledge here. Get above this volume ledge. Because we are looking at the possibility of once it get up above this ledge, then we see the price are, uh, auction up to this area here before we possibly see some rejection up at this 270 area. And looking at Marathon uh, holding, Marathon digital holding using the four hour time frame so we could squeeze in a little bit more candles here. I'm looking at this balance area here because I'm looking at this area right here. You know, basically looking at this balance area and we could see that the price pretty much have been, uh, you know, you know, bouncing around between this, uh, uh, what, uh, maybe about 750 to uh, about, uh, you know, 1060, somewhere around there. Let me just get the price here. Yeah, this is about 1070. And here is the uh, 730. Right here, we're basically looking at here. So this is about 780. So if we put this box back in to just kind of get some idea where the uh, value area is, so we could see where the price have to uh, break out from and get into the imbalance area. Then we will see that price come up to this area here, somewhere around $14 level. If the price is able to break this balance area, right? Because in the uh, auction, we basically are looking at balance and imbalance. So right now the price is right at this high volume node here in this balance area. So there is a lot of acceptance. In other words, there are, you know, a lot of buyer and seller uh, consider the price to be fair around the level here. So what we're going to do is we could uh, wait until the price come up, break this level, and then go uh, shoot for this $14 level, right? Then you basically have to choose a stop underneath this uh, balance area. Or one could go and uh, take a uh, little bit more risky approach. And here's the gap here. Right? We're basically saying that, hey, it come up to this small balance area here, right? This little balance area. And it is, uh, if it is able to come up and break, then we'd be looking at this $14 level. But if it is unable to uh, break this balance area, for example, let's say we're basically saying this is like the... Uh, bottom of this balance area and we're looking for this thing to come up and if it uh, happened that it will break below this another word break out of this balance area and get into this balance area then we would be uh, looking at the price to come back down to this 780 area now if it comes down to the 780 area we might want to revisit that and reassess to see maybe there's opportunity to take another step of a swing long even though we get stop out here somewhere. So that's another possibility. And uh, that's basically what we're gonna do is to look for this 
if it is able to uh, stay above this high volume, no. Because, uh, you know, if it's above this high volume, no. Might want to go and uh, maybe uh, have a little bit of a small, starting a small position here and put a stop this way underneath this, uh, you know, this gap here. And then if it uh, break through here, we might consider adding a, adding to a position and shoot it up to this $14 level. That's uh, one possibility. So there you have uh, some of these, uh, you know, crypto mining stock that might uh, you know, have some potential play based on this ETF thing, uh, you know, with Bitcoin. Now, there's a lot of risk space uh, behind there, so make sure that you understand the risks on trading these instruments and be sure that you do your own due diligence. There's uh, not trade recommendation. These are just for information and uh, educational purposes. And be sure to smash that thumbs up to help promote this video. And if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching.